the most important characteristic of a musician, um, I think that's um, it's a combination. I think it's not one thing. It's it's a combination of um, technical skills. Orchestral musicians, they have to be sure that the technical perfection is there. But of course that's not enough. There has to be intelligence and intelligence can be artistic intelligence and creativity. It's, uh, I think that's maybe the most important. Being creative as a musician um, mainly means that um, that you work with a score and the score is always a kind of code language. We don't know any system which really indicates uh, what exactly the composer had in mind. So the musical notation is always a kind of help to understand and the creativity is what you need to get into this world, to get into this brain of the composer and, and try to get his ideas, but try to see through the notes, through this very abstract notation and try to get it alive and, and to make the music sound. Creativity is something which we all have. Um, I really, I'm convinced that uh, children have uh, a lot of creativity and uh, I don't think I know any child who isn't creative. Maybe there are, but I don't know them. Um, the only thing is that uh, through our school system we lose quite a lot because um, creativity is something which um, allows to make mistakes and the whole school system uh, just tells us all the time that mistakes are the worst thing you can do um, and with the whole system of, of marks you get and so on. Um, unfortunately, because um, I think a lot of creativity and other skills are lost this way. always been a quite conceptual um, composer and in this way I'm maybe more linked to the American tradition than to the say Belgian or Western European tradition to be very general um, but that means that um, taking ideas from the paintings gave me inspiration for a composition. One of the first steps was almost literally taking a visual painting and putting that into a score seems a bit strange, but sometimes a painting, abstract painting mostly, um, gave me idea to make a musical score. And then I could see the notes came afterwards. So it was not that I had a musical idea at first, no, I had a visual idea at first. The next step was that I didn't use those original paintings anymore, but I conceived, I made a graphical thing, a score which was on itself something which is nice to look at. The next step then was to, the, to see that those scores give also more freedom to the performer. That's a very important point for me. Um, I really believe in creativity for the performer. That means that I also trust the performer. I, as a composer, I don't want to tell the performer this is exactly what you have to do. So my musical notation is made, is conceived in this way that the performer has to be involved creativity with creativity so he has to think he has to plan things and and think about how will i do this how will i structure the music what will i do here what will i do with dynamics for instance and so on um, one of the first compositions i made in this uh, kind of new aesthetic was uh, is called ei now what's specific is that there is a kind of internal loop which is a very short um, 
but not so very short, but a quite short uh, musical motif which is repeated all the time, all the time, all the time. So the, I call this the first layer of the musical score. And then comes a second layer, which, as you play the piece, you can add at ever, whenever you want. So there is at every moment there is a possibility to add the second layer. And then comes the third layer, comes the fourth layer. At this moment, the piece the eye has four layers. You have to plan, as a musician, the structure of the piece. When will I go from the first layer and add the second, and then maybe leave the first out and then have two plus three, or have one plus four, and so on. So um, you can make your own structure in the music. So it's, it's what I ca call a kind of centrifugal way of composing instead of a dramatic line going from A to B or A to Z. Um, no, it's really like a center and then around that center you have other possibilities. And even when theoretically all musical things would have been told and used, you can still add uh, text to it. You, 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 you can put text to it, you can add dance to it, you can add movement to it. I mean, there's so much it's a very open concept, it's a very conceptual piece, of course, um, but the concept is so open that you can add whatever at a certain point. <laughs>